Hey everybody, how's it going? It's good to see you. We're hanging out live here, me, and I'm going to introduce you to a bunch of my friends here in a second. There are currently 12 of us hanging out. You can't see them yet, but they'll be here in a second. Uh, we're going to hang out and share with you guys a whole bunch of YouTube tips and ideas, suggestions, advice, lots of other cool conversations I'm sure will happen as we hang out here together and help you guys as creators just with your some of the things surrounding your own audience development on YouTube and the things that you guys are working on here. So just as a quick introduction, there's links to each of these creators in the description below this video here on YouTube. You can click on them. If any of them, you're like, hey, their channel sounds awesome. And they're just going to tell you a little bit about their channel. And then we're going to talk about some YouTube tips. So um, you can uh, check out any of those uh, down there below and, and check out their channels. Um, but just as a heads up, basically who all these people are, because I know in the in the chat I'm already seeing you guys. You're like, how do I get in? I want to join, which is awesome. I'm glad you guys are joining. But uh, the, everyone here is is someone who's been through the Video Labs course. Actually, we just finished it up last week, and so now we're kind of hanging out together as one last time because we all love each other. It's so much fun. And so we spent the past ten weeks just digging into each other's YouTube channels and learning. Probably way too much stuff, <laughs> but it was all good. And, uh, and if you guys are interested in video lab sessions too, um, there's a link in the description below. We're, this isn't a promo for it. I'm just letting you guys know like this is who all these people are. And we've all gone through this um, together. But you can check out more information about that in the link below. So we are going to get right into it here. And I'm going to introduce you guys to uh, all my friends. Hello, everybody. Everybody wave. Say hi. <laughs> So there are supposed to be like 20 of us here. Right now, as you can see, there's 12 of us here. And so other people might hop in, you know, as their time permits to, to join us here. But we're going to get started with those with the people who are here and start sharing some of those tips. And you guys who are in the chat, feel free to interact, ask questions, and we will do our best to kind of get back to them. This isn't like the Video Entrepreneur Show. It's kind of just like a show. We do want to interact with you guys. So feel free to leave your questions and chat here. I see Eddie G says, I'm here about the knowledge bombs. You guys want to get started with the knowledge bomb? Let's get for, ready with our first one from Yana. Yana, how are you doing? Hey, guys. My hey. name is Yana, and my channel is basically about making makeup simple and less intimidating. Uh, for those of you guys that are new to makeup, uh, I just show you the simple way of um, getting from start to end uh and yeah just so effortless um and basically like the one tip that i can give you guys is be authentic like on your channel you have to be yourself you can't be anybody else you can't be fake because it's too hard to be fake so you just have to be real go for it have fun on camera and that's it and um you know have fun with the people in your community uh put your personality in your banner how you design your page uh your channel and just communicate with the people. Just be you. The other people are trying to be your friends. Just be legitly you. Cool. Like that. It's simple. You have a pretty cool story, Yana, that's a part of your channel. You want to tell us what that is real quick? Uh, yeah. So let's see here. Make it short. So talk about simple, being hopefully. uniquely you. That's you know pretty much what you do on your channel. <laughs> um, so I was born in Ukraine, raised in Africa. Uh, there was a civil war that broke out in Africa. I ended up going to a refugee camp. And when you're on a refugee camp, like you have absolutely nothing. You have to use nothing for your creativity. And I think this is where my creativity came from. So when I came to the US, like starting from Zilcho, um, you just have to think of ways of using products. Yeah. So like, you know, I will use lipstick for like on my eyes, like for eyeshadow and use it on my lips. So huh. $5, I just covered eyes and lips. Sweet. You know? So you just have to be creative. Cool. With it. So that's my story. Awesome. Well, it's good to. I'm glad you shared that with us. And uh, I will be reading you guys' chat. Um, in the, I see you guys. Um, yes, Monsieur Karan. Can't say enough that be you is the most important thing. Awesome. Cool. A uh, prince. Hello. What's up, Tim? Hey, hey everybody. Hey. Tell us about um, your channel. What's up? Yeah, tell us about your channel. Uh, what, what can we expect over there? Well, my name is Prince Bell, and my channel is Urban Acolyte TV. I discuss the latest fan speculations, all Star Wars-related news, and all the good stuff 
uh, related to the force. Um, so it's a pretty cool channel. Yeah. Pretty over there. Sweet. You guys can find it in the description below. It's labeled Prince because he's the prince, I guess. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what's your tip um, for YouTube creators? Uh, my number one tip really is uh, if you're just getting started on YouTube, uh, pick a message, decide what it is that resonates with you that you really care about, and then know exactly who you want to share that information with. So the more specific you can be, the better. Um, if you say, you know what, I have my best friend and we love talking about uh, Hot Wheels cars, then sit down and, 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 and uh, shape your message specifically for that person because, hey, there's, a, there's billions of people in the world and there's sure to be someone else just like your next door neighbor that you love to discuss Hot Wheels cars with. Yeah. So, what, so you don't discuss Hot Wheels cars on your channel though, right? No, I, I haven't touched the Hot Wheels car since I was about four or five. Oh, dude. I just touched one the other day because my kid got one as a present, so that was fun. <laughs> I was playing with the model slide. There are cool hot, uh, Star Wars Hot Wheels cars, so I might might have to check them out and uh, show them off on my channel for all the dads that watch uh, Urban Acolyte TV with their sons. Yeah, awesome. Or daughters. Cool. <laughs> Go check it out. His link's below. Uh, let's bring on David. Hello, David. I'm just putting people these people randomly on the spot. They don't know which order they're going in and anything. <laughs> hey, David. Hello. Hey. Hello. How are you? Good. Tell us about about your channel. Uh, okay, my channel's uh, Learning English Essentials. It's a channel for uh, people who uh, are from other speakers of other languages who want to learn English, um, and so they they come to uh, my channel to find quick, easy. Uh, English lessons. Yeah, sweet. Cool. So what's your tip? Uh, the the tip that I'd like to share is that uh, I think that you need to set up your channel homepage to be converting uh, view, viewers and visitors to that page to, to, you know, convert them into subscribers, you know, be working hard from the banner to your welcome video, um, you know, and your playlists available so that they can see and find uh, everything that you have on your channel that they would be interested in, in watching. So yeah. make it as easy as possible for them to find as much of your content as possible. Yeah, cool. So how have you, how have you done some of that on your channel? Uh, well, um, the uh yeah the the banner start starting from the banner making sure that that communicates that it's a, a an english language learning channel and mm -hmm. then um going uh, and sharing playlists that are related to different areas of english learning like business english and and english relating to traveling and uh and so so that they can find the english lessons that are you know that they want to learn as quick as possible yeah sweet cool yeah that is really important i actually have a whole session about that at vidcon coming up uh this this year so that's gonna that's a really important topic because it doesn't matter how much traffic you get and they're all going to your channel like to subscribe but if you don't have it set up to like convert those people into subscribers it's kind of like a really lost opportunity you know so yep very true cool awesome uh, let's go to Diane. Hello, Diane. Hello, Cam. Hi. So tell us a little about yourself and your channel. Um, well, I have a channel that looks at how manipulation works. I, it, it's used throughout society in a variety of different ways of everything from abusive relationships to terrorism to unscrupulous religious leaders, to business scams, to politicians. <laughs> oh, nice. And so I... <laughs> you just tack so the politician I, one on there during a voting season right now, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do one on that very soon. Yeah, a video nice. on that. But uh, I just unfold it and, and take a look at it and try to use people's personal stories and also uh, use use a lot of academic make stuff, anything I can do to, to make that so that those people who would use those techniques are less successful using them. Mm, awesome. Yeah. So you can check out Diane's channels like that below. What's your tip for us? 
Um, the thing, one of the greatest things I learned from this course, which one of my best tips is just take the course. <laughs> 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 Other than, um, I did not pay her to say that, but thank you. <laughs> no, I know, not. Um, um, it's a value proposition because um, to really understand what value you bring to to the people who are watching your channel, not just what you think is cool. It, it has to bring something really valuable to your users, and so my tip is to build everything around that. Start with that, make that the core. Is what it, what do I have to give that's valuable, and then build everything around that. Yeah. Sweet. So how, do, how what's your value proposition? Uh, you talked about it a little bit, but how did you figure out what it was? How did you get to that spot? For someone who's listening, like how might they figure out what value they're bringing? Well, I started out thinking that I was interviewing people from terrorist groups and gangs and such and just having a, telling their stories. And then I realized that, that doesn't bring enough value and that what I need to do is to give lots of tips to people who are just leaving those kind of groups so that they can heal from it and to to understand the techniques of how they work, to understand vulnerability. So for me, it was it was really thinking through in detail um, what how can really be a benefit to those people who are either leaving an extremist group of some sort or at vulnerable age so that they'll understand how not to get involved in something like that. Mm -hmm. And then how can I bring that in? in videos and how can I make my channel really um, make sure that it exemplifies that. So yeah. it's, there's a lot that goes into it. I didn't realize how much I didn't know I started this course and I learned so much. <laughs> Good, cool. Awesome. Uh, let's go to Jim Ray. Hello, Mr. Jim Ray. Hey guys, how's everybody? Pretty good. Uh Tim, you did a great job with this. I, you know, I've got a, I've got a consulting firm down here in Louisville and, you know, I work with attorneys, small businesses, to help them run a little bit more effectively and a lot more profitably. But when I do that, part of my job is to help them in business development. And one of the biggest things I got out of this course, and, and Tim, this is kudos to you for putting this all together, is that the, the interplay between all the members in their course, you really start to learn. You see how other people who have channels that are much more built out, a little bit further ahead of you, maybe. Um, how they're doing it, what they're using, how they're how they're succeed, ex, you know, succeeding in their goals, and it gives you so much to work with. You don't have to go out there and just try to learn all this by yourself. I mean, yeah. it's almost impossible to do it on your own. Um, but just the the camaraderie between the whole group uh, is fantastic. Yeah, it's fun. I appreciate you being a part of it too. Jim Ray actually lives in mine, not near my in my city, but like what an hour and a half away, a little oh, less. Yeah, yeah, so. maybe an hour. We're, we're, we're going to connect sometime. We'll make it happen. <laughs> so what's your tip for other YouTube creators? No, I, I think that's the biggest one. Don't, don't be afraid to kind of hang it out there and, and look for the, uh, the insights from other people. I mean, you, I tend to get tunnel vision sometimes when I'm working on my channel. I think, Hey, this is working. This is good. But you get, you get some really candid responses back and it's meant to be helpful. And it, it takes a little bit to, you know, the first time you start seeing some of that feedback, but it's so helpful that now I can take that, incorporate it, run, and at the end of the day, have a much more effective channel. And that, yeah. it, that's really the goal. Right. Yeah, yeah I love totally. it. Yeah. Cool. Some people are asking, like, who's talking? <laughs> this is Jim, right? So you guys are trying to connect names. I'm sorry, we we're going too fast. Trying to connect names with... Uh, uh, with who's talking. So that's Jim Ray. His is down there below. The lady who just spoke uh, is Diane. So you can find Diane's channel down there. It's Own Your Brain is the name of her channel for people who are trying to find that one. Okay. And yes, we will be taking questions. Some of you guys are asking, can we ask questions? And I won't be taking them from Twitter. I'll be taking them right from the chat here. And But we're going to get through everyone's questions or everyone's uh, tips for you guys first. And then we'll come back. Maybe all of us as a group will collectively answer some of your questions together. So uh cool how about thank you jim let's go to kathleen hi everyone hi i got your kids with you i do so uh our channel is called quad squad and someone was asking earlier in chat if these two are twins they are not this is ethan and justin and then uh, uh, ashley and brandon and and they all host videos and our channel is all about inspiring kids to learn in uh, fun and entertaining ways. So Ethan hosts a Kitchen Adventures uh, series. Justin hosts Brain Building a series. Ashley has a series about craft time. And Brandon, who's one, just kind of pops in and out of our videos. <laughs> and your daughter is adorable. I mean, all your kids are great and cute, but your daughter is like, I mean, it's because I'm a little, a little biased because I have four daughters. But uh, man, your daughter's super cute. 
So cool. Yeah. So her her channel is Quad Spot. Quad Quad Spot. Uh, yeah, I tried to say it. Quad Spot. And you can find it linked up in the description below. Her name's Kathleen for you guys in the chat trying to figure it out. Uh, what's your tip for us, Kathleen? Uh, so my tip would be to really pay attention to the thumbnails that you're using as mm. the um, what represents your video. Um, one of the things we learned in the course was how the thumbnails and the first 15 seconds and the title really work together to grab viewers to want to watch your videos. And since thumbnails are usually the first thing that people are seeing when they decide whether they're going to click on your video or not, it's really important to have the thumbnail represent your, your video really well. And one way that was brought home to us is that we had a, a video that we've had up for like three or four years. It's called, Where Does Milk Come From? And uh, it's a great video you know, for kids to learn about a, the dairy farm. And it was getting a lot of traction, but the thumbnail was a picture of Ethan and Justin uh, four years ago, just holding a bucket of milk, uh, walking through the barn. And so we changed it to a thumbnail that, that just has the face of a Holstein cow on it. And immediately, like within mm. a day, we had three times more views because all of our views were coming from uh, people seeing the thumbnail from related videos yeah. and deciding to click on it. So that really made a big difference. Yeah. So do you have any tips for creating more engaging thumbnails? I mean, obviously you made a better one for it to work, right? Yeah. Ethan says to make the thumbnail look like what they actually are. I mean, yeah. really think through what, what your video is about and try to uh, make your thumbnail represent what you what you want people to uh, associate it with. Yeah, we should, that's so important. We should probably come back as a group and talk about that a little bit too. But um, updating thumbnails on older content and breathing new life into them is a great great tip. Cool. Thank you, Kathleen. Thank you guys for hanging out. You uh, you guys all sitting on Mama's lap there. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, Adam, hello, Mister Adam. Hey, how's it going? Hey, pretty good. What's your so channel about? My, my channel is Guy in the Cube, and I'm a Microsoft employee, and I'm all about helping people kind of learn and explore the Microsoft Business Intelligence products. I've been working with that stuff for like 10, 11, 12 years now. Uh, a lot of it was in the support side, so I was always helping people just try and get past whatever obstacles they're having. Mm -hmm. And so I've really focused on that and just really uh, just cranking out stuff, and it's been great. Awesome, sweet. So his name, his uh, is listed under in the description under Adam, so you can check it out. Are you in a cube right now? I am in the cube. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your tip for us? So my tip is I, I'm a data guy, business intelligence, and so the Google Analytics pieces were I, I wasn't using those really well until we went through the Video Lab stuff and really dug into what those items were, and so like the audience retention stuff was really great and being able to see the graph where in the video the drop-offs were and trying to adjust to to make that better and to have better view time in those videos awesome so how, how do you do that so uh, again it's really trying to figure out what was going on in the video at that time like mm -hmm. what did i was i not crisp enough was i not clear was i kind of rambling on and then try and adjust that in the next video to be more on point and and or make sure that i'm really driving the point across and the value yeah so you're just going back and looking at your audience retention scores or are you just kind of looking at comments or how do you evaluate? I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, I look at all of it. Um, the, the audience retention, though, it's, it's a combination of when you're in there, at what point you'll, you'll see the drop off. And then are mm -hmm. there comments that go with that? Are there uh, other things that are happening on the channel at that time? So uh, you can look at the view times. You can look at. Uh, you know where they are uh, so I mean th there's just a lot of data you can kind of put together it can be a little overwhelming too so just try and peel away what you can some of it is kind of guesswork a little too so mm -hmm. it might not be as straightforward I, I know some of us struggled with that as well it's like well, it's not obvious necessarily but right. hopefully we can kind of see what we were doing before and what we were doing after the drop off and see what happened also, if you see spikes, things of that nature, it could be someone's like going back and rewatching something. Yeah. Um, so, that's, so it may yeah. be like you had a really good point in the video and that's what they were focusing on. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, those audience retention graphs are really helpful. I think we spent at least a week <laughs> talking about those and, and how to read them and stuff in the course. And for those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, 
with with what those are it's in your if you go to youtube analytics and on the left sidebar there's a thing called audience retention and you click on that and at the top just start putting in different videos in the little search bar and you can see a graph of how they perform over time and what adam's talking about is like if there's a drop then you know like oh a lot of people abandoned the video at this point in the video why like what happened and then learning from that so you can make the next one better so really super helpful good stuff cool uh, let's see here. Who have we done yet? Farah, hello. We haven't talked to you yet. <laughs> hello. Hi, Hi, guys. So what's your channel um, about? So my channel is uh, just my name, Farah Asif. And um, my value, my value, prob uh, well, my channel is about um, trends and tutorials to fuel your fashion appetite. Mm. So basically, on my channel, I do beauty but it's um, majority is fashion. So you have lookbooks and, but you also have makeup tutorials. Like if there's going to be an event or something, I will, I will usually cover uh, a look a celebrity does. So I do a lot of that kind of stuff on my channel. Um, yeah. Awesome. Pretty, cool. Yeah. So what's your tip for us as creators? So my best tip that I learned is um, the value of human connection which mm. means that uh, the difference between uh, being a YouTuber and being a TV personality is that um, on YouTube, you know, people can interact with you uh, through the comments and they, they feel like they can connect with you as a person, whereas on TV, they just watch you like through a screen and there's no like, um, what do you call it, related... Like like nothing the interaction yeah interaction yeah, yeah. or prospect of interaction yeah so my tip would be to really um interact with your community like reply to comments and you know um uh, position yourself like be personable and be like connect with your audience and um try to engage with them and just like when when you start a video welcome them to your video you know like tr talk to them as if um you were like yeah they're like your friends pretty much yeah. that's the, the, the thing i learned that yeah and that's really what turns viewers into fans in the long run because they're like hey you know i like this person yeah so how do you do really that do you, have, to know you. do you have any idea like a tips or advice for someone who's like yes how, how do i do that you said reply to comments that's a really good ones you know so, so interact with them there so reply to comments and maybe if you have a request for a video you know feature that person's comment in that video mm, say this person mm -hmm. asked for this video so i'm going to do that for you or um and in the beginning of my videos i just like welcome everyone yeah to my channel and um in in this in this course we actually have channel reviews and uh that was actually one of my strengths so i decided Good. to talk about it yeah yeah talk about yeah. you well Awesome, good. So yeah. I'm sorry, I'm reading you guys in the chat. And so this is Farah, and hers is the Hi. first one. Hers is the first one linked up in the description below. Before that was Adam, and then he was the guy in the cube. And then before that was Kathleen from Quad Squad. So that's, you guys are trying to catch up. That's what's just happening. And yes, uh, happy guys, see your questions. Um, I don't know if I'll do that, happy guy, but we will be taking your, your questions here in just a little bit, okay? Uh, and we'll be doing our best to answer them as a group. Let's go to Mr. Sam Tucker. Sam, there is someone who is in the chat. I just like, hey, Sam's here. <laughs> oh my God, it's Sam. Hello, everyone. So um, I, I think they were excited. I think it was a positive thing. <laughs> uh, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> um, first off, I just want to say that the um, creators who couldn't make this call, I think it's because they were so successful doing yeah. Tim Gary Labs course that they're like they're busy on Alan. So well done to them. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, my name's Sam Tucker. I'm from Australia. Crikey, didgeridoo, echidna, etc. Et um, and I do a comedy channel uh, with like parodies and funny how-to videos. And just recently did a parody on the new iPhone, the iPhone SE. So definitely check it out mm. in the description there. Okay. Sam time. Look at Sam. Very easy. He's a great guy. Um, <laughs> look, my, uh, my tip for being successful on YouTube is just to be completely and utterly persistent at it because yeah, you should get better as you go and learn and improve and all that, all that good stuff. But 
at the end of the day, you just got to keep doing it. If you want to succeed at it, you can't quit. You have to go beyond the point where any normal person would quit. You just have to keep, you just keep doing it until you make mm-hmm. it. So yeah, just sheer and utter persistence. Just keep, keep doing it. And eventually, hopefully. Over. Is that part of your story, Sam? What, what was the persistence part of your story on your YouTube channel? Yeah, well, one main thing um, that happened with me is, uh, and I did it in my Draw My Life video I talked about, is that a few years ago, I had a viral video called uh, How to Fake Piano Skills, where I show a funny technique where you can kind of look like you're playing piano. Mm-hmm. And that blew up. It went to like uh, a million views and it like totally blew my mind and uh, jumped heaps in subscribers. I was at like 1,000 to 10,000. And I was like, oh, that's it. I'm going to do YouTube full time. I've had enough of this. I'm going to be a superstar. <laughs> and as soon as that happened, then everything started to plateau on the channel. And like, oh, Ooh, this isn't so fun. <laughs> so that was a bad time. Bad timing there. Exactly. Yeah. So a few years on learning a bit more, but still just being completely persistent. And yeah, we just made it over 50,000 subscribers the other day. So yeah, it's all just. Persistence yeah. pays off, I think. Yeah. And I think the thing about persistence too, because it's a really good tip, is that uh, you, you want to persist in the, the th- whoops, in the things that um, that are going to help your channel grow, right? Like you can persist, like some people persist, and I've seen them persist for five plus years doing the same things over and over and over again that I've already proven that aren't going to grow their channel, right? So... It's the difference between like, don't just keep repeating the same mistakes. Don't just keep doing the same thing that's already proven it's not going to work for you. It's being persistent, but continuing to challenge yourself, continuing to stretch yourself, to try new things and and reinvent yourself and experiment with different things until you kind of find this is what works for me and for viewers, uh, both, right? So, cool. Right on, team. Right on. Thank you, Sam. Uh, let's see. We haven't heard from Joey yet. Hey, Joey. Hey, everyone. My name is Joe, Joey Petri. Um, I run a my own like personal story. I'm an independent team beach body coach. So I share what that company and those products have done for my own health, fitness. I share tips and also share about what being a coach is about and how it's changed my life and my family's life. Cool. And his channel down there is labeled Joey. So just look for Joey and you can find it down there. Cool. What's your tip, man? So going off of like what you kind of were talking about in in terms of staying persistent, I had a real hard time kind of, I got to attach to the content that I would create. I would shoot it and I'd be like, this is great. And I would put it out there. And then going off of what Adam was teaching about learning analytics and learning where my drop off was and learning my retention, I started realizing my, what I was putting out there really wasn't valuable and then I got hung up on I was doing this one program and I shot like days and days and days of like a kind of a vlog oh, yeah. type video and I started realizing I'm like they're just not as valuable to me or or to others as they are to me and I, they're really more valuable to me because of all the time I put into shooting them and talking to them I wasn't really being as thoughtful and as intentional with the content that I wanted to create And so it was just really detaching myself and saying, you know what, like if you go into my YouTube channel now, you'll see the series I'm talking about and it only goes up to day 10. I finished the program, but I realized that after day 10, I didn't want to kind of continue with those same type of vlogs that weren't really delivering the value. So I took a step back and realized the things I shoot going forward, if it doesn't turn out the way that I envisioned it or wanted it to, it's okay to cut it, edit it, throw it away, take reshoots if necessary, and really find the best um, quality you can. And also kind of going off, I watched one of your videos yesterday, Tim, where you're talking about finding your voice and getting comfortable on, on, um, on YouTube was also, you know, you have to kind of put it out there just to yeah. learn, you know, don't yeah. take like 80 takes and never do anything with it. You still right. kind of have to figure it out there, put it out there, see what the reaction is, if there is one, and then kind of continue to learn and grow as you are moving your channel forward. Yeah. yeah, I did a consultation not too long ago last week with a guy who um, his he didn't publish anything uh, of his videos. He sent them to me privately through Dropbox and I checked them. I was like, dude, these are actually really good. But we're as creators, we're like always our own worst critic, you know, and we think, oh, this is terrible. I'm not going to publish it. But I encourage them you know, like, yeah, change some of this stuff. But overall, 
for your first YouTube videos, it's great. You know, get started with that. Um, now, I think one of the things you said, Joey, is also really important is you also, you were persistent, but you kind of knew like, all right, I try this, I'm pulling the plug on it. Mm -hmm. Right. Cause that, how yeah. many days was that full workout series? It was doing? 60 days and I have almost like a whole hard drive full of like <laughs> HD video I shot that I may still go back through and try to find a story in there. I can tell, but right now it's like, it also helped me to kind of reevaluate who my target audience was and what my voice wants to be in terms of, you know, I'm a dad now. When I first started my journey with Beachbody, I was a single guy, but now I'm a dad. Um, so really looking and, and talking to that audience of, you know, if you're, if you're a former fit dad and you want to become fit again, so you can keep up with your kids, like is, are those logs really valuable to that audience? So I shelved them and maybe I'll find something in there that will be able to translate to that audience I'm focusing on. But, mm -hmm. um, really like I, I've talked to the, the best thing I can say about this group too, is being able to have that connection with the people here and, and the friendships I've made, being able to kind of talk through that connection of to yeah. my, my, my digital video and being able to let it go and realizing that, you know, it's just not just keep moving, just keep moving yeah. forward. Don't worry about the stuff you shot. If it doesn't fit into where you want to take your channel. Right. Some good hard love, right? Like it probably is not easy to hear that. I just shot 40 or no 50 videos that I'm, you're telling me not to use. Yeah. You're like, what? I hate you guys. But they're gold. <laughs> but in the end, it might be that more helpful for you, hopefully no. going forward in the future. Awesome. Cool. And I see you guys are asking questions in the chat, so that's good. We will get to them in uh, in just a second. We still got Masood to hear from, and he's got a really – he's doing something – one of the most creative things I've heard of for a, a, a while. He's doing something really cool. Masood, what's your channel about? Hi, Tim. Hi, everybody. So my channel hey. is called Spacefaring Civilization, and uh, I'll just spill out the um, value proposition. Yeah. It's – uh, a community of filmmakers who generate hope by building an open science fiction world together. Yeah, Op so this open source world is really intriguing to me. A science fiction open source world that you're building. That's cool. Yeah, so it, anyone can come and make stories inside this world. Yeah, anybody can join. So anybody who's interested in filmmaking can come and join and contribute into the open world, very similar to open source software. Yeah, but it's for the world itself, um, and I talk cool. about that in my uh, videos uh, in my channel. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. And you guys can find his channels linked up below. It's uh, labeled Masood, so you can find it there. Uh, what's your tip for us, Masood? Yeah, my tip. Uh, so this is what I've learned in Video Labs, and uh, Tim mentions the value proposition uh, a lot, uh, and that's very important. So spending some time on the value proposition is good. That basically summarizes your what, why, um, and uh, sorry, your why, what, and who. Mm -hmm. and, um, one thing I've learned is to communicate that as much as you can and everywhere you can. So have it in your banner, have it in your about section, and have it in your video. So I've got it in my uh, intro, uh, in my brand intro. So every time you look at that, my value proposition is there that you can have a look at. So it makes it clear to people who it is for and um, and why why you should watch it uh, yeah. and what we do there. Yeah. Uh, and my second uh, tip is uh, don't be afraid to make a mistake. So um, the planets are not going to align. It's not going to be perfect. So just release it and then learn from your mistakes. So mm -hmm. um, one thing uh, that stopped me from uh, doing this um, channel because uh, I actually built up this channel as I was doing video labs and it was a good kick in the bum as well getting, getting <laughs> um, so it, I, I was afraid to release it because I was afraid of making mistakes so it, it's just a matter of just releasing it and it's okay if people uh, if um, if you make a mistake you just learn from it and you move on yeah so APOC in the chat is saying value propositions and what does he mean what is, it, what is a value proposition, Masood? Okay, so value proposition is a summary of uh, who the channel is for, um, why they should watch it, and what it is that you're going to do. So it's, I know it's a lot, but you, when you work on it and then you summarize it, um, it actually um, brings about, a, so it basically makes it clear what that is. So mine is, Filmmakers who generate hope, so that's the why and the who. Um, 
by working together on a science fiction uh, open world. So that's the what. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's totally, it's about like pitching. This is who it's for and why they should care. So that when someone comes to your channel, they can quickly and easily determine, is this video, is this channel for me? Cause that's whatever, that's what they're thinking when they get there. You know, is this channel for me? Is it something I should subscribe to? And so you're just making it easy for them to figure that out. Kathleen, you got something to add to that? Yeah, I would say to everybody watching to really just take your time in coming up with your value proposition. I know with us, it took a number of weeks, you know, a lot of brainstorming and thinking, what is our message that, that we're wanting to um, give to our viewers? What is our channel about? And, you know, sometimes if you settle on the first thing that comes to your mind, uh, you don't always catch what the, what the bigger vision is. And usually it's there. You just have to... <laughs> You have to take the time really to just peel back the layers and uh, and be willing to, to figure that out, to work it out. Because it's, yeah. it's tough. Even at video creators, I've changed mine twice since I started launched the channel. You know, so it's like every two or three years, I kind of tweak it a little bit more. So, uh, so Adam, I'm gonna let, Adam has something to share with you guys too about that. But um, now's the time to ask your questions in the chat. So you guys go ahead and do that, and uh, we're gonna get to them in in just a second. Uh, just a second. I don't know how to talk sometimes. <laughs> just a second. We'll get to them. Uh, go ahead, Adam. I was going to add, I know a lot of us when we were going through the value prop was we, a lot of us were focusing on the what and not the why. And that's yes, why we all kept yeah. having to go back and try and rework it and really hone in on the why piece of it and not the what. Yeah. And because the what is so easy, like what I do beauty tutorials, what I do uh, gaming videos. Um, but the why is really important, you know, so what I help people grow their YouTube channels, but why like, well, people have different motivations for it. But for me, it's like to help people spread messages that change lives, right? Like a lot of you guys are doing. Uh, so that, that's really, really important. Cool. I see some of your questions coming through. Let's set them up in a second. Oh, far. I thought you had your hand up. Did you have something to add to that? Or somebody did someone had their, no, I, no, I, I did, but it's exactly what Adam said. So oh, <laughs> you guys are also good. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but that's really important. And it took me a while, really, really, actually it took me until the end of the course to find my why. So. Yeah, let's talk about this. Some of the questions in the chat are about that. Uh, let me highlight all of you guys here, uh, all, all 12 of us. So reviews, dude, and a few others. How do you figure out your why? How do you figure out your why? Yeah, I mean, this is the process we've all been wrestling through yeah. currently. So those of you guys um, get something to share. How, how, what advice? Go ahead, Adam. Oh, then we'll come to you, Kathleen. Go ahead, Adam. Well, I was going to say some of it may revolve around what your passion is and what you want to help share to people. So it, it doesn't even have to be about, like, like I do a tech YouTube channel, but sometimes it's not even necessarily about the tech. It's about the story or the journey of how that happens. So try not to get so pigeonholed on like what exactly you're doing, whether it's gaming or, or tech or makeup or whatever, but talk about, you know, what's the struggle? Like, what are you trying to share and, and what do you try? What's your message that you're trying to get out? Yeah. Cool. Go ahead, Kathleen. Well, I was going to say when, when we started, we um, looked at our what first. So what, what videos did we want to be making? And then we started looking at, okay, well, why is this important to us that we're making these videos? Like why, you know, you kind of can get your why from your what, at least that mm -hmm. was our experience, that once once we do what we're passionate about, then we figure out why is it that we're so passionate about it. Cool, good, yeah. Prince? Oh, sorry, I was muted. There you um, go. I have multiple whys, but uh, the, the big one was actually came from Tim. His, uh, he posted on his Facebook page, this is a plug you should all be following. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so helpful here. I love it. <laughs> Tim said, if you could start over on YouTube uh, today, what would you do different? And I said, I would just do Star Wars. And the reason was because I had been watching all these other Star Wars YouTubers for about a year and a half leading up to episode seven. And I didn't agree with some of the things they said, or I wanted to participate in the conversation. So I said, maybe I should just do it. I don't, why can't I talk about Star Wars? So I just did it and joined Video Labs, and things have been all gravy, baby. <laughs> all right, that's <laughs> awesome. 
Uh, let's see here. Let's do another question. A, a lot of SEO questions. You guys want to take some of those? Um, we'll, we'll test. We spent two weeks in the course on SEO. So let's see what you guys, let's put you on the spot here. Now it's the true test. Where is it? I lost it. Um, someone asked, I forget who asked it. I can't find it. Oh, free soft 15. How can a creator improve their view, video views using SEO in a short amount of time? They said less than one week, but well, let's give ourselves at least like a month or two here. So how, how can you, um, what are some things you guys have that were helpful for you anyway, or things that you've learned that ways people can improve how their videos rank? Go ahead, Sam. Yeah, I'll just say if you're first starting out, just be prepared for things to be very slow. You could create a really awesome video and yeah, you might not get many views. But one thing that um, I find that's really helpful to get uh, a bit of attention to your videos when you're smaller is just covering like tent pole events or really big uh, things that are happening. Like, for example, um, any, and if you do funny videos, do Apple parodies because they're always good for a lot of views. And I don't know, work your videos maybe around other events like Christmas and um, if there's big news at the moment, maybe make a video about that. So make a video that people are already searching for and that way they might come across uh, your content as well. Cool, good. David? Uh, I was gonna say, um, with like once you've done your SEO, you, oh sorry, your keyword research, um, making, you know, finding the keywords is sort of ha half um, the, you know, the battle, but, uh, once you've done the finding of the keywords that you want to target, combining that with some natural, uh, natural language so that you're making the, you know, the title of your video in, um, enticing for a human being to click on. So, so you've got to make it something that someone's going to want to, um, click on the video to, to watch. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, Yana, we should talk about titles too, but yeah, go ahead, Yana. All right. So just to add to what Sam was saying, just to like, kind of like add to that, um, like you want to create like evergreen, um, I guess videos. Uh, mine would be like, I don't know, changing your hair color or something like that, that you know that people are going to constantly look for. It's never going to get old. Yep. Um, someone's asked, what is SEO? Um, who did that? I see that. I, chat's going back too fast. Blink, Blinky HYO. So SEO stands for search engine optimization. And that is just like, how do you optimize your video so they rank and perform well in search? When people are searching for content related to the video, like related to the topic you're discussing or addressing in your video, what makes it so your video is more likely to show up at the top of those results than someone else's video? So that's what this is. And, and Southern Mom and a whole bunch of other people I saw, like, what is this course uh, people are asking about? This is a uh, Video Labs. Um, I think if you're talking about the people here, it's about video labs in this in this call, and there's a link to that in the description of this video. If you're talking about the course other people are talking about <laughs> in the chat, they're talking about the Find Your Voice course, which is the one I just launched about feeling comfortable on camera and kind of going along with what Farah said. Like, how do you be like, how do you build a human connection with a viewer and um, turn them in just into a viewer and into a subscriber, but into a fan? and really build trust and credibility through your on-camera presence. So that's the one they're discussing in the chat. So which those just hopefully that covers all of it. Uh, let's see here. Let's take like one or two more questions. Ray, uh, Ray J and just, how do you get way more subscribers? Capital W a Y. How do you get way more subscribers? Go ahead, Joey. <laughs> Deliver valuable content. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah. Number one, you want to make sure you know who your audience is. And I think that other than, you know, your why really finding out who you want to be serving and helping and talking to, um, who your audience is and then finding out what's valuable to them. Why are they going to watch my video? Are they going to click off in the first 10 seconds? Or are they going to watch the whole four minutes, 10 minutes, or however long the video is and making sure that it's really valuable. If you continue to deliver value, on a consistent basis, you'll find those subscribers and you'll see that channel growth. Awesome, very good. 
Anything? Anybody got anything to add to that? As far as giving a thumbs up. Prince's thumbs up. Everyone's giving a thumbs up. You nailed it, Joey. High five. <laughs> uh, let's do one more here. Um, the guys who are asking questions about the courses, uh, again, you can find more. Just click the link in the description. And that'll give you a lot more information about that. Um, let's see. Everyone's asking about the course. I mean, that's awesome. But like that, let's talk. Let's take a YouTube question here. Um, is a billion subscribers possible? Mm, probably eventually one day. Um, not yet though. It's probably uh, going to be PewDiePie. Yeah, he's. I don't know how many millions he's got, but he's not even up to a hundred million. Yet. He's not even up to a tenth of the way to. No, a, he's forty. He's forty million. Forty billion. Yeah, so he's still got a long way to go. Um. Well. Um. Everyone's just asking questions about the the course. Uh, let's just do one more here. What would? It's not that I don't want to answer those questions. That like I'd rather do YouTube questions. You guys can click the links to the Find Your Voice course or to the Video Labs course and find out the questions, the answers to the questions you're asking. What would be the best game plan to go from 1,000 subscribers to 2,000 subscribers? F uh, Frost Returns 3 asked that question. And then another good question about, yeah, let's do that one first. Okay, go ahead, Em. So it it's kind of goes back to what Joey was saying, and I, I put it in the chat also of, don't focus on the subscriber number, focus on the content, focus on the value, crank out the content regularly and consistently and the subscribers will come. Yep. And the thing with that though, is everyone kind of assumes that their videos are awesome and super valuable. But if you're not getting the traction, then maybe like, I don't mean to be critical, but I guess I kind of am is like, it's me. You might be the only one who finds it valuable. Right? So, uh, might be something to evaluate and get some good objective third-party opinions and advice and direction. And that also goes back to the YouTube analytics. What I talked about before too is is be a little self-critical too and try find out like what your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever it is your partner that have them watch it and tell them what you think and yeah you know see what's there. But don't be afraid to change things up. I'm always trying new things to try and see what works, what doesn't, what resonates better what drives up watch time, those mm -hmm. kind of things. Good. And David? Uh, I was going to say, um, in order to go from, you know, however many to whatever you want in you know, your far off goal or whatever, um, I guess making sure that your, you know, channel is optimized to convert people from viewers into subscribers uh, and then you know, one of the what the tips that we got from the course for, you know, gaining more viewers and subscribers was to do collaborations with people who share your target audience. Mm -hmm. And as long as your channel is, you know, optimized to convert those new viewers into subscribers, then th those are the ways that will, you know, get you more subscribers fast but again that uh what adam said you know and also joey said uh, the best way is always to offer the you know valuable content so. yes good masood um so just adding to what uh david adam and joey were saying um so subscriber numbers are good uh, but it's not as important as watch time so if you have people watching your um, uh, videos uh, regularly and more often, um, it's actually much more beneficial because they're actually getting, like uh, David said, they're getting the value from it. I remember in, in the course, we reviewed uh, several um, channels from other people. And there was one particular one, and I can't remember which one it was. They had like a, a very moderate um, subscription, uh, like 10,000 or not. And he was saying that like, because he was having so many views, right? That he was actually making good money out of that. Yes, um, yeah, you don't get paid for subscribers. YouTube doesn't care how many subs you have, right? So they'll pay you for engaged uh, view or interaction with an ad. And Melbourne Mama, I'm sorry, she said, 
What they said is very depressing. Not in a bad way, but it gives kind of a hit to the ego. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like, um, and, and I th whole, that's one of the values of like being in a community of other creators who are rooting for you, that want to support you. You know, so they'll give you the feedback, not in a way that's like, "Hey, your content actually is pretty lame. That's why no one's watching. You think it's awesome, but no one else does." Like not to like make you depressed, but actually to try to help you, like give you the love that you need to like do better. And so that you can, so you're not wasting all this time making like we kind of did with Joey. He was about to make 50 more videos that probably weren't going to help him get to the goals that he wanted. And so we, so Joey, I think is thankful for that now. Um, <laughs> Cause that would have been a lot of waste of time and energy. So it's not to hopefully make you depressing, but it is, you know, speaking to uh, I think someone here said it like, Maybe it was uh, Jim Ray, I think. It's like being in a community of other people, of other creators who love you and support you um, and giving you feedback can be actually be really, really helpful and valuable. Go ahead, Joey. It's very depressing. I'm not going to lie. Like when I had, a, I got, I, was, I would have like hours of like depression sessions with my wife and counseling. And like, <laughs> like, where am I going with this channel? Who's this really, am I, you know, I invested Tim money hates in class. Me. I questioned. <laughs> you know, what I was really doing. And it's hard. It's hard to really be like, this is it. And then you really have to rethink because I'm that kind of a shooter where I just I have an idea and I just shoot it. And I'm like, this is awesome. And being more thoughtful about what you want to shoot is tough, but you can do it. You just really, and having the people in the class with you is the, the biggest, Tim's amazing, but the friendships and the value from, you know, pitching ideas to others. Does this work? Does this not work? What do you think of this? Before it ever goes live on YouTube, was a huge value. So yes, I understand your depression. I understand that kind of <laughs> negative thought. I would highly recommend you do your best to limit it and continue to just surround yourself with people who are going to speak to you in a positive way, not give you fluff, but also give you good criticism back and encourage your growth. Cause I know that, I know that demon, man. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, Diane. Yeah. What Joey was saying, but it, it, it I took, a big like dive as far as when I realized how much I didn't know. But the thing is, you could you could just sit, you could be on YouTube and have your channel and not have it have a plateau and never go anywhere. And I'm just starting out, so that's good because I'm learning all this early. But you know, the thing is, all the tools are there. Like it throughout the course, there it's to not be successful is that it once you really learn who your audience is, is and how to connect with them and how to give them something of value, some content that matters, how to be authentic, how to make your channel optimized, do all your thumbnails. If you do all the work, which I'm just beginning to do, I'm having to revamp everything. And it's like, it can be depressing to realize you're going on direction with a really good intent. And, but you know, then you realize, wait a minute, I have everything I need all I have to do is put it into action and go through the drudgery of making sure I have everything in place and then create the content and being authentic and it will work I know it will now I have yeah. a lot of confidence now but it, uh, it it can be hard to realize you are kind of going the wrong direction and you have a lot of work to do yeah good Jim yeah I was gonna say exactly what Diane was saying that the important part is I mean especially this is part of your business model if you're going down the other the wrong road and it's just not working and you've got all these people behind you saying yeah just keep on going just keep on going it's not going to work i would rather have some really really honest people tell me early that hey you could do this a little bit better or here's another way to improve so that i can recorrect earlier so that now i've got much more runway and it, it's a lot easier for me i mean the feedback in this in this program is fantastic i mean there's a lot of stuff and some of it yeah is a punch to the ego but that's fine that's why you're in the course because at the end of the day you're successful if your channel's successful, right. and that's part of my business model is the way it's rolled out. Yep, awesome. You guys have so many good questions in the chat. Uh, hopefully, I see a lot more smiley, happy faces now, like e emojis and stuff. So that makes me better about leaving you on a depressed note. Uh, so, but some people are asking, how do you get in these communities? Yeah, socialblade is a great one. dot com. They have a great forum. Uh, yttalk.com. Those are all like really big forums and places where anyone can, any creator can join and talk and start engaging. Uh, I kind of like what we're doing through Video Labs where it's a small group. There's only 20 of us and we get to know each other's channels and content intimately. And we're always in touch with each other throughout the week through our private Facebook group. And it's not like you're getting lost in like a sea of other noise on a big forum. So I like what we're doing here. And if you'd like to join one, let's see if you guys are asking. 
Uh, I don't have dates for the next one yet, uh, but there is a link in the description below where you can learn more about Video Labs if you'd like, but there's also a link down there where you can join my email list, become a Video Creators Insider, and that's where I will announce the dates for the next one. Um, so you guys can find out more about that there. So thank you all of you guys for hanging out with us and watching us live. Hopefully some of these tips we shared with you guys were helpful and valuable for you as you guys are continue, continuing to grow your own channels and your own YouTube audiences. I know that this has been helpful for me too. Just even like rethink all this stuff and think through a lot of these again and hear all these other creators that have been here just talking about what's been helpful and valuable for their channels. So hope it's helpful and valuable for you. Subscribe if this is your first time here. We're all about helping you guys grow your YouTube channels and your audiences. That's the what, like Masood said. And then the why is about helping you guys spread messages that change, that change lives. And hopefully now also here in Video Creators, helping you guys grow the business around your YouTube channel that keeps the money sustainable so that you can continue to do what you do, do what you love and reach people and change your lives. So thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. It's been fun, and we will catch up with you guys next week. Bye.